In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy an Athnor for the purpose of moon mining. But you can also follow these steps to anchor any structure. But there's a few extra steps that go into actually setting up for moon mining. So we're going to be setting this up in high sec, and I'm going to be doing this on a test server just because my corporation does not own structures for purposes of just avoiding war when we're outside of alliances and just things like that and uh they'll allow us to actually go through this entire process uh pretty seamlessly and let me explain a lot of things to you without too much interference now it's generally pretty safe to uh, deploy a structure in high sec um even if a corporation does war deck you um chances are the structure will probably anchor before that war is actually um efficient or i guess activated or whatever but uh, just be, be, in, be keep in mind that like deploying a structure is a lot easier than actually taking one down. So if your corporation is 100% ready to get into moon mining, whether it be in high sec, null sec, the structure is uh, will go a long way in increasing your risk and all that things like that. So for the purpose of setting up for moon mining, we found a moon and we warped to zero to it. And then you're going to basically look for a a little beacon here it's the upwell moon mining beacon and i usually warp to about 30k from that just so that the ship is not in the way of our placement here from there we're going to go into our inventory here and you need a couple of things you you need to actually have the roles in your corporation to anchor structures and things like that and we're just going to go ahead and look at the information on this structure as well you can see all the fitting information and all of that once you're ready to anchor it, we're going to right click on it and we're going to go to launch for corporation. And that's going to give us this kind of overview that we can work. What I normally do in terms of setting up a refinery for moon mining is I'm going to use tactical view. I'm going to go pretty much bird's eye straight down and I'm going to put that moon mining beacon right on the edge of that docking perimeter right there. And I want the front of the structure to be facing away from the moon and i'll explain why but the reason why i want this beacon over here because it also will act as a rear tether for whenever you're actually moon mining so the reason we actually want this structure to be facing pretty much directly away from the moon itself is because on the athenor this ring that goes around the structure is where the moon drill will be and so depending on where the moon is in relation to the structure that's where the moon drill will be and since we're going to be facing this away from the moon, that moon drill will be on the backside in between and pointed at the moon. And why that's important is because when you undock here, you don't want that annoying moon drill sound <laughs> when you uh, first undock. And it's just a pet peeve of mine, uh, really. So we're going to move this in just a little bit here. Well, I just want that moon mining beacon right inside of that docking perimeter. And then it'll actually show you down here that it says valid location. Location is eligible for moon mining. So we're going to go to position. And this is where we're actually going to name our structure. So what we're going to do is we're going to name this. Let's go all caps. We're going to name this poor house. And then obviously like you can set up your own profiles in your corporation, things like that. You can add a bio and everything like that. And then your reinforcement hour is going to be set to either... If you're dropping this is part of an alliance the alliance might have guidelines on when they want this to be done but generally speaking you want to try to set your reinforcement timer to a time of the day that you are going to be uh, active because if anybody puts your structure into timer mode you want to actually make, make sure that you're able there to defend it in your hours of play but for the course uh, the purpose of the video we'll leave it at just zero 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 and then we'll actually hit anchor It'll take a few seconds. Now I just deployed it out. You'll get notifications that you are um, now eligible for war and all that if it's your first structure. And then you'll be able to see here where it has information. You can barely see it because of the uh, what it says. It says preparing to anchor and it says 14 minutes and 19 seconds. And it says core absent. So what we're going to do is we're basically just going to, you can just hang out here while you're the, for the 15 minutes. Once the 15 minutes expires, it's going to start a 24 hour timer. At that point, you'll have to come back and do all the things to actually put the structure online. Going more in depth about that is in order for the structure to go online and be fully up and running and everything, the structure has to have a service module 
and it has to have the core and it has to have enough fuel blocks to online that service module. So in the case of what we're gonna be doing, when it comes to the point tomorrow or 24 hours from now, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna drop a moon drill on it, we're gonna put the core in, and then we're also going to put a uh, fuel blocks in there in order to get this moon drill up and running. And as you can see here, it says service module online fuel needed. You'll need 360 units to get it online. And then the cycle needed for it is going to be five units and that's per hour. Once we come back and I'll do the second half of this video after it anchors and everything, I'll go over the fit. <clears throat> you probably will have a cheaper fit than all of this, but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of deck this one out just so you can kind of see. But one of the rigs that I actually do recommend is the moon drilling um, stability and what this will actually do is it will reduce the overall radius of the moon fracture by 20% and then it'll also extend the asteroid decay bonus by 50% which means that you'll have a little bit longer time before rocks will actually um, start disappearing but also having that reduction in radius when it fractures allows you to more easily move around when you're doing move mi moon mining with fleets and things like that so what I'll do is I will, um, we'll just kind of jump to into the future um, in for 12 minutes and I'll show you what that looks like whenever it gets to that point. All right, so we've got about seven seconds left on the anchor timer and then uh, I kind of moved in a little bit so you can kind of see the, uh, the text a little bit better, but it's always still hard to see. It doesn't matter. All right, and now you can see it is now anchoring for real. And it's going to take 23 hours, 59 minutes. You can barely see that. It's a lot easier to see on my screen in real time. But yeah, it's essentially going to take a day. And then you can keep coming back here and periodically checking it. It's kind of a cool little effect. It'll start like assembling it, like nanite kind of assembling it from the core all the way out to the edges. If you've never seen it, then it's a, a pretty cool thing to witness. But uh, we'll pick this video up after it completely anchors, and then we'll go on to the next steps of deployment. All right, we have fast forward in time to about eight seconds until we're done anchoring. And we'll just kind of keep walking you through this process until we're completely online and all that good stuff. Now we're anchored, as you can see, and we're in low power mode and core absent. So what you want to do is you want to go to your structure browser once you're docked in and go to my structures and then right here under profile settings you can just go to the corporation name go to profile settings under control you see you have no access list for assume control so what we're going to go is we're going to go to social we're going to open up the structure browser list and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a new access list we're going to call this zero gunners go down here I'm gonna have myself in it you can add anybody else you want here or corporations or whatever and then now we're gonna go over here to access list and we're gonna add zero gunners which will be right there we're gonna hit the save button and also there's other settings in here like clone bay you can set the clone bay cost um, any of the tax rates or the uh, industry rates and docking access and everything like that so we really need to do a session change here so I'm gonna undock and then redock. You can also access that from the outside too by right clicking on the structure and go to edit uh, profile used by structure. Go ahead and dock back in. You can have that profile set up way before it uh, anchors to make the whole process a lot easier as well. Now that you're docked in after the session change, we're gonna hit this button that says uh, take control. And now as you can see, we're in control of the structure you can see it's in low power and all of that. And we'll pull this inventory, I'm gonna unlock this, pull this inventory out. And we're gonna open this up all the way. If you don't have your inventory open on the screen, you can just open it from the side, Nanocom. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to my freighter here. We're gonna take all these fuel blocks, we're gonna dump them into the fuel bay. And then this core room, this is where you're gonna drop the the uh, quantum core so we'll go and get that loaded into there so now that we have the fuel and the quantum core in there it's going to take 15 minutes and then we'll be able to actually put in our service module which then it will become fully online and everything so once you get through anchoring you're going to then go in and make sure your access lists are all good make sure you get in control you want to put fuel in there you want to put the quantum core once you drop the quantum core in it's going to repair 
and then once we're done repairing then we will finish off the fit all right so we're almost repaired we got about two seconds and then our next goal is going to be get the the service module and all that stuff all right now we're in vulnerable state see we're fully repaired we're gonna open up the fit window at this point and we're gonna drop our moon drill in here and i wouldn't recommend like most uh most athorns are gonna be set up for moon mining you're gonna make them pretty cheap for the most part so i wouldn't recommend doing all these especially like this one right here the grading the moon ore grading because you're probably not going to be reprocessing in your athenor but just for the sake of the video we're going to put all these rigs on got ammo loaded and all that so that is everything fully fitted see it's loading up next thing i'm going to show you is actually how to turn on um or actually how to uh, start the uh, moon drill and everything like that and that's all done from uh, right here you can also do extraction scheduling here as well since we're on the test server all of this output um, summary is going to be um, intentionally wrong to keep people from actually it keeps people from actually like going on the test server and just like scouting moons easily but as you can see here the extraction can be anywhere from six days and three minutes all the way up to 55 days and so in the case of this we're just going to set this for the lowest amount uh, which is uh, six days and everything and that's the extraction schedule button there and you see that the uh, this is where you would start or stop but what we can do here is we can go to this extraction schedule and we're going to go up here we go six days and three minutes this gives you an idea of like all the output that would be coming out and then you can hit start and as you can see here the moon drill will start doing its thing you also get notifications at the uh, corp level for everything in just case any of you guys have never seen the uh, moon drill activation process that's what this looks like right here and now you're running and so what will end up happening is once it starts the moon fracture will slowly start pulling towards the Athenor and then when the timer is actually expired depending on how long you set it for it'll fracture or it'll stop and then you can come in and fracture it or it'll auto fracture um, if no one comes and pulls the, the trigger essentially and once the timer's up if you come in here once the timer's up you can get take control again and you can actually uh, um, fracture the moon fragment yourself manually or it'll do it automatically in like an hour or so or hour or two after it's done and then once it starts pulling it'll just be kind of doing its thing for the next six days or so but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video about me uh you know showing you how to deploy an athenor and get a moon drill started and all that and uh hope to see you in the next one hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time peace out